Physician-assisted death for terminally ill patients should be allowed in all 50 states. Terminally ill patients in their final stages of life deserve the right to choose when they die. Death with dignity laws are only available in 11 states. If one of our pets is suffering from a debilitating illness or in any sort of extreme amounts of pain that a vet agrees with, we are able to make the choice to euthanize them and put them out of their misery. Why do we not have that same choice for humans? According to Neurology Today, assisted death laws appear to limit eligibility to terminally ill patients who are expected to die within six months. But however, this does not distinguish whether the person is going to die within six months with treatment or die in six months without treatment. Whichever the outcome is, how is it our decision to make for that person? Why can't they choose whether they would like to continue their life or whether they would like to end their own pain and suffering, just like we would do for our own pet? Death with dignity laws should be available for all Americans in all 50 states. The problem is that legal state residency documentation is required in order for the physician to sign off on it and be able to perform a physician-assisted death. That means that there are 39 states with thousands of patients who are terminally ill who do not get to make that decision for themselves. What I don't understand is what makes it state by state, how do people get to choose who gets to die in a state and who doesn't. Another issue is that if a patient were to cross state lines and get this treatment done by a physician, it would be considered a homicide, which obviously no doctor or healthcare provider will ever take the risk of being liable for. Another option that patients have is to travel out of the country, but many of these patients are far too sick to be able to do that, nor should they have to do that. They should be able to have an assisted death in the comfort of their home, surrounded by their friends, their family, and their loved ones in a very peaceful environment. Physician-assisted death is widely misconstrued in our country, whether it is because of lack of education or religious reasons or whatever personal reasons people have. Just like in this statement, USCCB states that death, assisted death creates two classes of people, those whose death we spend millions of dollars on each year to try and prevent, and those whose death we assist and treat as a positive good. We remove weapons from one group that can cause harm while handling deadly drugs to another. In reality, this is not true. To qualify for the death of dignity laws, you have to be able to make your own healthcare decisions. You have to be diagnosed with a terminal illness that is going to end your life in six months without treatment. It has to be confirmed by a healthcare professional and you have to be capable of self-administering and ingesting your own medication. Picture and think about all of the resources that are being used to keep terminally ill patients alive. Highly skilled hospital staff, equipment, medication, hospital beds, anything to keep a patient alive who might actually prefer to end their own suffering. By letting a person end their own suffering, all these resources become available to someone who would like to continue treatment and need critical care. All in all, terminally ill patients who are at the final stages of their life deserve the right to make this decision for themselves. If it is legal in 11 states and not the 39 others, that simply doesn't make any sense. That is separating people and saying pretty much if you don't live in this state, then you don't get access to these laws. You don't get access to your own life and what you want to do with it. Death with dignity laws are also something that we need to talk about more in America and educate ourselves on. They are seen widely as such a taboo here, which doesn't make much sense because death with dignity laws have actually been around in other countries for a very long time. There are many documentaries and articles, as well as inspiring stories of Americans who have traveled to countries such as Switzerland to access death with dignity laws and pass away peacefully. But they shouldn't have to do that. A terminally ill person who is probably very weak and brittle shouldn't have to travel 30 hours just to get some closure and make a, a life decision for themselves. 
They should be able to do that in the comfort of their own home, in their own state, surrounded by people that they love, and pass away peacefully. Thank you.